This did that. How's it going everyone? My name is Parker and this is the Parker Kurth YouTube channel. For those of you that are new here, I'm currently on the road to going pro in triathlon. I just quit my full-time job at Garmin and now I'm putting all my time and energy into coaching and training. And so if triathlon interests you or if you just want to follow along on an age grouper's journey to going pro and if you want to find out if quitting Garmin was a good idea or if i really screwed up then go ahead and hit that subscribe button but most of the content on this channel is centered around well obviously triathlon coaching and training but today's video it's going to be a little bit different let me backtrack a little bit for those of you that know me you know how much i love my recovery tools i think i have almost every recovery tool out there i have uh i think i have like one or two massage guns I have the uh, the hyper the hyper boots or whatever the the boots that you put on and the compression boots, but I ended up selling those because I don't know I didn't really feel like they made too much of a difference in my training. What else do I have? I have like four or five different foam rollers. <laughs> I have a little vibrating foam roller, a vibrating massage ball. I have a calf stretch board. I have some scraping tools. I have a what is it? It's a big metal rod i think it's called the the boomstick but most recently my most recent recovery tool that i picked up well i posted a little bit about it on social media and i was getting loads more than usual questions about it uh people asking me if i think it's worth it what i thought of it and so i thought instead of just responding to everyone i'll just sit down and make a video about it and so that's what i am doing today now the recovery tool that has been getting quite the hype from my Instagram is the Revomatic. What is a Revomatic? The Revomatic is a smart cupping massager. And so I'm sure that most of you have heard of cupping or at least have seen the effects of cupping at probably the Olympics during the swimming. I know all, all the swimmers, they always put the, uh, the cups on the back and you see the, the big dark circles. Well, if you didn't know, that's where the circles come from. It's from these things. Well, I'm not sure if these in particular, but from cupping. And so I'm actually gonna be splitting up this review in a few different sections. The first is kind of the backgrounds behind cupping, why I decided to pick these up, how I heard about them. And then I'm gonna be going into the likes I have about this and then the dislikes. I actually might bring on my dad for those two parts because he's actually been using them as well. He'll probably have some words to say. And then finally, I'll let you guys know if I think they're worth it and my final thoughts. Now, before I do start with this review, I do wanna let you know that I paid for these with 100% my own money. I'm not sponsored by Revomatic. I will, however, have a link to their website in the description box below. So if you wanna pick some up, yeah, check out that link. But I guess we should start off with the price. That's a pretty important part of this review. And now I do believe that one of these is I think $70. However, however, I think it's always on sale or at least every time I check, it's been on sale for I think like 55 or $56. And then they also have a package bundle. So the more you buy, the cheaper they become. I actually ended up buying four of them. I have these two right here and then these two in the box. But now that we got kind of the initial facts and figures out of the way, let's move on to part one of this review. So I initially heard about these Revomatic cupping things. Well, actually, no, I heard about regular cupping first and I came across cupping at my, well, I knew what cupping was, but I went to a physical therapist back in Kansas when I still lived there, I don't know, a few months ago. And he actually started using cupping on me. Now he didn't use these, he used uh, some plastic ones that I actually ended up buying on Amazon. I bought, I think two sets. I kept one in the shower and then one I took with me to the pool to use after swimming. And at first I was a little skeptical of them and I was like, yeah, they're just cops. I mean, they can't be that big of a game changer. But the more and more he used them on me, the more and more impressed I got. And the idea behind cupping, or at least what he told me, and I mean, this guy healed me of quite a few injuries, so I, I valued what, uh, what he was saying, his thoughts. And what he said was, the idea behind cupping is that when you, it's suction. So you put them on your skin, and the, uh, what they're supposed to do is pull the fascia away from the muscle. 
And so I'm sure if triathletes are watching this or if you're a runner, you're biking a lot, then what can happen is that the fascia can actually stick to the muscle and that's what causes the tightness and the pain that you'll often feel in the knee. I think runner's knee comes from a tight IT band and that often happens because of the fascia, it's stuck to the muscle. And to help relieve some of that stickiness, these cupping things are supposed to help. And as I was saying, at first I was a little skeptical of it, but when I didn't necessarily notice an initial impact or a relief right away, but I did notice that when I stretched with the cups on, then the, the deepness of the stretch I could achieve was much greater. So I felt a much deeper stretch while I was using the cupping. And I think that is because the cupping kind of helps amplify the effect of stretching because it helps just pull apart everything a bit more. And so after I had those first few experiences with the plastic cups, I thought, you know, they can't hurt. And as I mentioned, I love my recovery tools. So I went on Amazon and I initially bought the plastic set and I used them a bit and I was seeing pretty good results. I definitely felt much looser. I wasn't getting injured as often. Well, I only had them for like a month or two, but I wasn't getting injured during that time. And yeah, I just did feel looser after using the cuff. And then actually, I think I was scrolling on Instagram, I don't know, like a month after I bought those plastic ones. And I came across an ad for these Revomatic cups. And since I thought that the, the plastic ones were pretty good, these definitely interest me. So I clicked on that ad. And what's interesting of, about these cups is that they actually use red light therapy and they're electric. So you have to charge them, which that's actually one of the things I'm not the biggest fan of, but I'll get into that during my dislike portion of this review. But yes, they do use red light therapy, which I'm a pretty big fan of. So I think we should move on to part two of this review. My likes. And for this part, I'm going to bring my dad on so you guys can get two points of view because two is, well, better than one. Want to take a seat, Dad? Only if they agree with me. <laughs> now, my dad has been a guest on the Fast Foodies YouTube channel, have mm -hmm. you? Yeah. yeah. For those of you that don't know, I also have a food YouTube channel and Instagram where I do fast food reviews. I'll have that link down below. But I think that this is your first time ever uh, guest on the fitness. Well, besides, like, getting race footage and stuff for me, right? Yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. Yeah, well, Dad, I was telling uh, everyone watching this that I thought I could bring you on and you could share some what you like and then we'll get on to the dislikes of these cuppings because you've mm. been using them a bit too, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I thought having two different points of view might be, well, definitely be better than one. Yeah. So you want to start? What do you uh, what do you like about well, these? You know, I, I like that they're, you know, they're compact. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're very easy to use. Yeah. Uh, you just need to make sure that you understand the uh, markings. The buttons, yeah. yeah. So they have four buttons. There's the power on button. Uh -huh. And then there is uh, two buttons which increase or decrease or one increases, decreases the suction intensity, and the other one increases and decreases the red light brightness, I guess. And then the last intensity one- Intensity of the red light. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the heat yeah and the last one you is the little brake right there you press that button if you want to pull or if you want to like release the suction i guess that's the one thing i don't like about it yeah <laughs> that's the one yeah yeah if it does not charge yeah that's releasing we'll, the we'll save that we'll save that for the dislike but that's going to be my biggest dislike i think and both of us uh had that same yeah. issue with them well i think the other uh i don't know if it's a dislike it's just a uh, no we're on the likes dad okay the likes well no okay the size uh, the kind of uh, simple use of it, mm -hmm. um, and you know, it's it really does have a very strong suction. Yeah, um, it's it, that's the one thing I noticed. That was actually one of the biggest, besides well, obviously the red light, the amount of increase in suction I got from these compared to the plastic ones I was mm -hmm. using, it was like two, three times as much. Yeah, these I are like if you yeah. do with a professional. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And what I also like about these is that they have two different modes actually. So there's the regular mode, which it just, you just put it on and it just keeps sucking. Mm -hmm. And then the second mode, it's I think it's called like a breathing or pulsing mode. And I'll put some B-roll up of what it looks like. 
but you just press the power button again. You have to hold the power button to turn it off. But if you press it, so that's mode one, that's the regular. And then mode two is the breathing mode. And what that does is it kind of lets in a little pockets of air every- So it pulsates. Yeah, it's like pulsates. Mm -hmm. And I find that to be a little bit less intensive. Yeah. And so if this is your first time doing cupping, I would definitely start on mode one no, or mode two. Yeah. No. And also decrease the intensity because, uh, well, I'm kind of a, I'm, uh, people have called me a masochist because I love dry needling. So I kind of, I wouldn't say I enjoy the pain, but I don't mind the pain of like recovery tools if I know it's going to help me. Uh, but for someone like my dad, who's well, a little bit more sensitive. Less sensitive. You might want to start on the the lower intensities because I do notice that, especially after pulling it off after like a fifteen or twenty minute session, it can hurt a little bit. Yeah. It stings yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of which, when you do use the cups, you definitely want to use yeah. some type of moisturizing cream or some type of cream. Now, Revomatic does have a pre-therapy cream and a post-therapy cream, and so I besides like kind of lubing up the skin. The idea of the pre-therapy cream is to open up the pores. If it actually does anything, <laughs> I, I, I don't know, to be honest. Um, but I do know that it definitely is much less painful, much more enjoyable if you put some type of cream on. If it's Yeah, and it helps also with the seal. Yeah, yeah, it also does help with the sealing. Now, I don't think I've actually used the post-therapy cream. Hmm. I think that's just to make your muscles feel better. But I think using any cream hmm. um, will work. But yeah, so those are kind of uh, all my likes. The the increase in intensity, the red light, I also like kind of the mm -hmm. heat you get from it. Mm -hmm. um, if it's actually red light doing anything, I think yeah, the I don't science know. I don't behind know red yeah. light is uh, kind of uh, still kind of out there. Release toxins and promotes mobility. I don't yeah. know about uh, releasing toxins. But, but it definitely does promote mobility. Oh, yeah. I have noticed uh, a uh, much greater amount. Of, I don't know if it would smooth away scar tissue. Yeah. So, and, and cellulite. I'm, I'm, I'm damn sure it doesn't get rid of cellulite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, I'd be walking around so yeah. all over. But that's actually why I got four of these because my physical therapist, he did say that if the red light in here is legit, then you want to get as pretty much, you want to cover as great of an area as possible. Mm. So that'll just mm. increase the effect of having the red light and also that this way i can put like two on my legs and like two on my back if i want to get if i have like a swim and a bike tomorrow then i can get my legs ready and my back ready well the red light if it's bringing the heat yeah um you know that um again if it's you know i don't know I don't know if, I, th I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. But but I, 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 I like the, the, the suction. I do think that it, you know, obviously it brings more blood flow and the blood flow, the red blood cells helps with the healing and stuff like that. And then it also can, you know, when you've got some of the, the myofascia um, yeah. stickiness, I think that exactly. helps with that too. Um, yeah. And they just kind of um, help them um, pull the muscles too. So The red light yeah. also does look cool. So. Yeah, it does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's yeah. that. It's a cool thing. All right, now moving on to the dislikes. Another, I don't know, it's really a negative, but it looks gross. Um, I think, it, what do you think it looks Well, gross? when you have it on, I mean, you could see the skin being yeah, sucked up. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like a yeah. big leech. Yeah, um, it, I'll put a video of that. Yeah, so like, that, but, you know, the clear thing. But no, yeah. but that's, you know, it's just purely yeah. cosmetic. But no, I like, I think it's nice. Yeah. But the, the biggest dislike by far is what happens when these run out of battery while they're attached to you. Yeah. <laughs> because you see, as I mentioned, they have a specific button to release the suction. But it has happened a few times because there isn't like a charging status or something like that to indicate when it's getting low on battery while it's on. It shows you while it's charging, if it's charged or not, it flashes white light when it's not charged and it stops flashing when it's charged. But when it's on you, you don't know how much battery is left. And if this is on you when it dies, then uh, yeah, you're in for a not so well, pleasable. You can peel it off, but it freaks you out. Yeah. You, you could stick like the thing and- Oh, it, it hurts though. It hurts when yeah, you're pulling it off. Yeah. yeah. And but, so, I mean, what you could do is you could walk yourself over to a cable and plug it in, I think, oh, yeah. and then press the button. But if you you don't have it set up to charge and if this dies on you while it's like suctioning, then yeah, it is well, I painful. think because you just kind of pull it off, but if you have it there and you kind of pry it with your 
you know, the but if you have skin. it in a sensitive area, that could, <laughs> yeah, this yeah. could hurt, yeah, and especially also like uh, on the back too, because if you that's put hard it on, to get, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah it can yeah. be hard to get, and so maybe if they put like a little, well, I think it would be very helpful if they made like a noise, like a little beep sound when he hits low, because if they just had a color light, then if it's on your back, you wouldn't know if it's low on battery or not. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah so I think if they had a little sound that went off, or a manual gonna, release. Yeah, or some some type of manual release because, yeah. Um, yeah, when it's on you and it's and you can't get it off, man, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's not a fun experience. I'll mm -hmm. leave it at that. Yeah. And then my uh, second dislike or thing I'm not too excited about is kind of the the build quality in general. This is I've like I've dropped this not too high, just I don't know like a foot or two, and I've noticed that the the cover will come off. It's not mm -hmm. glued on. It's just kind of like. Yeah, it's not the nicest or most durable build. Now, thankfully, I was able to put it back together. Mm -hmm. And it's not too hard to put it back together. You have to make sure you line up the, the buttons, the marking of the button with Correct. the actual button. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, it took me a while. I was trying to press the power button after I put it back together, and it wasn't turning on. And then I realized that... You didn't have I the didn't, power yeah. marker over the power button. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you just have to make sure. Or, or just don't drop it like me. <laughs> um, but besides those two facts, I mean, I definitely think that uh, if you have a little extra money to spend and you're looking for another tool to add to your recovery... I don't know what's Recover, recovery toolkit recovery toolkit then i definitely do think out of all the recovery tools i think these and the the scraping tools scraping really have yeah, yeah. That, that scraper is great too. those two yeah. are my if you guys want me to do a review of the scraping i want you to do a review of the all scraping. right that's a great that's a oh, great tool more people want me to do that then let me know your mom wants to do <laughs> but well, that, that's a really good tool yeah but I think that these and the the scraping things are my two favorite recovery tools that I currently have, mm -hmm. and that cap board. That cap board's great. That's a good stretching thing. You yeah, should use that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, uh, do you have any other dislikes besides the? Uh, no, I really like. I yeah. think it's you know again. Yeah. I think it's a, I think it's a good, mm -hmm. good little um, tool. Yeah. Well, let us know in the comments down below if you guys have tried these or seen them around. Like I mentioned, I actually saw an ad for them on Instagram. Um, yeah, and I will have a link down in the description box below if you do wanna pick any of these up or any of the creams up. I think they'll make great Christmas gifts or stocking stuffers. Um, yep. Yeah, and- uh, let You me could always start with one and go. Exactly, that's actually what I did. I think I bought uh, one or two and then I bought another two uh, because of how much I liked it and I wanted to. And plus, <laughs> one of my favorite parts is the marking they leave. <laughs> oh, the big, like a hickey or whatever. <laughs> someone, yeah. someone asked me if I fell off my bike after. Oh, yeah. I was, um, yeah, but I mean, if you, I probably wouldn't, Put these on if you have a wedding or something and you want to look nice yeah you're gonna have uh you're gonna be left with um uh just like a big big old hickey yeah about this size yeah, yeah exactly so you, you should them. Do you have them your yeah I, i'll put pictures yeah. up and stuff but uh okay uh, yeah Sounds well good let us know if you want me to review anything else and what other content you want to see on this channel and uh what about that big metal roller oh the, the boomstick the boomstick yeah, yeah. That yeah. Over there. that'd be good yeah. but all right we'll see you guys next time no that's good